Here with Concordia head women's soccer coach Thomas Goins after a 3-2 win over Southwestern to open up the season. Uh, there were some moments in that second half where maybe they had you on their, your heels a little bit, but you responded. Uh, that's got to be a, a pretty good thing to see in game number one. Yeah, they came uh, They came with a pretty unique uh, formation and tactics, and uh, we, we wanted to kind of stay with in what we were doing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to stay within what we were going to try to, thanks guys, what we were trying to approach with. So we didn't make a lot of adjustments to it, which it surely made a struggle at different times, especially in the second half. Um, but um, all in all, I was really happy with the fight back. Uh, they, there was a good 15 minute portion in that second half where all, we were really trying to figure out what we we're going to do to keep a ball, and they put us under some significant pressure. Uh, we were fortunate with a, a really nice uh, ball in the box and a great finish from Leah, and that, that alleviated some stress to the game for sure. About that sequence where you you save a PK and then you have basically a ball cleared off the the goal line. I think by Lisa McLean to uh, some different people stepped up and made some plays. Yeah, I think one that we've really uh, we've kind of embraced or we've talked about since I've been here is do your job, embrace your role, whatever that is, do that thing and do it well. And you know our players have stepped up and done these things. And uh, you know it's just little things like being in the right position on corner kick defense. Uh, Lisa was right where she needed to be. She made a huge save. It saves the game for us. Doesn't put us down a goal. Um, uh, our, our, our goalkeeper Angela comes up with a huge PK save, and this is her first college um, first team start for us in her career. Um, so big moments, big moments all around. Um, and then having, I think we played probably six or seven freshmen today uh, in the run of the game. So giving them those moments to learn and grow into uh, their athletic careers is, is going to be big for us because they're, they're going to be required to do some big things for us to have a good season this year. Uh, what do you want to do from from game one to game two? I mean, you you got to take a little time to enjoy a win first but. oh yeah we told the girls you know i mean we'll take a win even if it's not the prettiest win we're going to have the rain and the weather obviously try to changes the gameplay it takes a little bit of the the skill i guess if you want to say away it puts it more into a fighting mode type game so uh we'll take a win any way we can get it uh, and they definitely want them to enjoy that the the mentality and the fight they put on today was very very good um but i you know ultimately it's improving uh we've got five games in the non-conference to get better and that's what we have to do. So uh, our goal is to make sure we're improving for the next match. We got five good days of training before we head out and do the next one. So, uh, you know, winning is nice and you certainly always want to win and especially uh, anytime you step on the field. But ultimately these non-conference games have to prepare us for the GPAC and we have to certainly improve from this performance to do well in the GPAC, but I'll take it.